All right, folks, welcome to this next Desmos video tutorial on how to create circular motion. I'm going to take this from scratch. We have Pac-Man here at the origin. Uh, assuming you've uploaded this image, we now want to be able to make it move in a circular motion. Keep in mind, I want you to think that any motion you can imagine your image making, any motion you can picture, we're going to be able to create or we're going to be able to model, perhaps roughly, with functions. So don't think, oh, I'll never be able to make an image do this, or there's no way to make it do that. No. Have confidence. Desmos is very powerful. The mathematics underlying it is very powerful. So here's a circle that I created, you know, with the center at the origin, x squared plus y squared equals 16. However, as you'll quickly realize, uh, there's no way to write this as a function. I can't do, you know, like f of capital X equals this. Uh, that doesn't make sense. And Desmos says, you know, I don't understand it. You could solve this for y, uh, but then you're going to end up getting uh, two branches, as you may have seen in the other video. I had a plus version and a minus version, and it's really not going to be clear how to make Pac-Man move along both of those branches anyway. So it turns out you actually don't even need this circle to make Pac-Man move in a circular motion. You might be saying, well, huh? how could that work? Well, simply recall that the equation for a circle can be written x squared plus y squared equals 16. However, another way of writing the unit circle definition would be sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. In fact, we learned that any point on the unit circle is equivalent to cosine theta comma sine theta. So all you need to create circular motion is not to have a circle drawn, though we can have it drawn, but it's simply to use the coordinates of your image to represent cosine of c and sine of c. You'll add a slider to show that c will change. Now if I just use cosine c and sine c, then I will be moving around the unit circle, or uh, a circle with radius 1. But let's say I want to move around the circle that I drew here. I want these coordinates uh, to change. So, you know, cosine of 0 is 1. But if I want it to be, let's say, 4, well, then I can multiply it by 4. And sine of 0 is 0. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. And if I want that to be instead of 4 instead of 1, I can change, you know, the amplitude. So make that the 4. And there we are. We're ready to go. Now, as far as where you want Pac-Man to start, and what direction you want him to go in, well, you could fool around with that. But here he's starting there, and he's going counterclockwise. You can slow it down. But let's say you wanted him to start right at the point negative 4, 0, right there. Okay. If we want Pac-Man to start there, then just think about what value would you want for C so that you would start there. In other words, this is equivalent to... Um, when your value there is going to be pi, Desmos is working in radians, then your cosine will be at the negative part of the unit circle, the negative part of the y-axis. So if I make this c equal to 3.14, that's where I'll start. And if I want to start there for sure, I can change this to 3.14 and you know make him go round and round a few times. Uh, perhaps you don't like him going this direction. You want him to go the other way around. Well, simply, instead of a positive sign, we can change this to a negative. And it will travel the other direction. So just think of how we did transformation of trig functions, and that will allow you to change your circular motion. One last thing. If you want Pac-Man to move at a different speed, you can change the slider. But as you saw, I had a ghost who was moving at a different speed as well. So if you want to have two things, and one of them is moving at a different speed, you're going to need to mess with the period of the function. So one way to slow Pac-Man down is to change the slider speed. I can speed him up, and I can slow him down. Another way to slow him down is to mess with the period of the function. Watch what happens if I change this to a 2. And this to a 2. They have to match. He is now going quicker. But what happens if I change it to 0.5? Make sure they match or you're going to get funky stuff. He's now going slower. 
While the slider speed remained constant, you can change the speed of an object simply by changing the function uh, in its coordinates. And notice this circle is completely immaterial. Completely independent of what we're doing with the circular motion, I can delete it, and Pac-Man will still travel in the circle. So these are some ideas you can use to create circular motion uh, and use a circle of any radius simply by changing amplitude, and the period will change the speed at which you are traveling. So thanks for watching this video example on circular motion.